Hello everybody, this is Pally welcoming you back to some more Divide et Impera for Total War Rome 2. As usual, we'll be continuing my game as Rome. So, let's get that loaded up. We are nearing the end of this campaign. <clears throat> we have been pushing into Asia Minor or Cappadocia, or whatever the area was called at the time, I honestly couldn't say for sure. But that's where we are focusing our efforts to secure the last province that we need for the victory conditions. And we're not too far away from doing that. So this is it. This is where we need to conquer the Hayastan province. Koran, Arsamosada, Armavir, which we haven't found yet, and Tushpa. I think we can handle that. Now, uh, previously, uh, we were going through the Pontic Usurpers here, and uh, we decided to just <coughs> uh, subjugate them rather than occupy. On reflection, I'm thinking that may have been a mistake. At your command. But we'll see how it goes. At the moment, we're letting our armies uh, recover from the battle. I'm say, uh, we did have a... I mean, for the most part, we're in pretty good shape. We could push forward, but we've got reinforcements on the way. I'd like to get them involved if possible. We'll see. Where are we on some of these guys? So oh, we have a spy up here. She's chilling. We hunger for that living. These guys are fine. Where's that ninth legion? Is the big one we're sending? Yep. There it is. So, yeah, it'll be a while. That's okay. Eighth legion is just hanging out in Britannia. Very good. First legion... Also on the way. Because why not? It'll be a while before they get there. Same with uh, the second legion. Or, I'm sorry, the seventh legion. Which is trying to meet up with the second fleet because they're taking losses from attrition. I have no idea what the... Ah, the fleet's in deep water, so that's why they're taking losses. Okay, well. I don't really care. We will be fine, no matter what. Now, do we have any bit of empire management we want to bother with? Not particularly. We are running a little low on food. Which I do not like. And I have a lot of uh, buildings finishing soon. So I kind of want to find a province that's a got a bad food use to income ratio and uh, turn it off. Numidia? Sure, we don't need that 4,000. And I don't want to risk accidentally going under on the food supply, so that's how we're gonna call it. Let's just end this turn and keep things moving forward. Oh yeah. Dignitary, we'll uh, deploy him next turn. Not a big deal. So, let's see what the AI ends up doing. So, once this campaign is done, uh, I'm planning to start up a uh, modded Total War Warhammer video with the Steel Faith overhaul, the legitimacy mod for the Empire, and I'll be playing a game as the Empire. So, uh, if you prefer maybe something else, I mean, uh, that's what I'm going with so far. Only been one vote on it, but uh, so if you have a preference for something else with a uh, within Warhammer, a feel free to let me know. But the sword and nope, talk. not happening. But yeah, we'll be doing Steel Faith Overhaul. Uh, the from this war. no, 
the Steel Faith Overhaul, the uh, legitimacy mod uh, mechanics for the Empire, which I really like. They do a pretty decent job of making the Empire feel like an Empire. You, you have a higher emphasis on uh, expansion through confederation and diplomatic means. It's a lot of fun. So we'll be... That's the plan for now. Uh, I'll also be using the Grand Campaign Custom Maps mod, so we'll get a huge variety of uh, battle maps. I don't care, don't care. Aha! We have a Praetor. And an Edile. Um... I don't care. I haven't really note paid attention to the political situation, but that's because it's not really been an issue. We've had uh, enough guys from the other powers spread around throughout the campaign that we're pretty much exactly where we want to be politically. And we have been for quite some time with minimal effort. I'm okay with that. Alright, so at Trapezos, Jesus. Whole bunch of missile ships and a handful of marines. Okay. Commander. Are you guys recovering? Yes, you are. We Very good. For battle. At your command. How many are you getting? 21 a turn? Good enough. 35. It's autumn. I don't know how winter will be here. My guess is it won't be bad. Summer will probably be kind of rough in this area. How can I be of assistance? That'd be my guess, anyways. How can I be of assistance? Got my spies deployed. Just keeping an eye on things. On. All right, we'll give it one more turn and then we'll push forward here. Meanwhile, anything else we need to worry about? We have you. Uh, Research rates, construction costs, I guess. Don't really care at this point, to be honest. The minor bonuses per bureaucrat in general, they matter a lot throughout the campaign, very little right at the end. Alright, and we do have the guy in Britannia who isn't deployed. There we go. Uh, more grain. What are we doing on food? Eh, that's actually not too bad. Alright, and I'm not sure I really need to do much else. I want to make sure these guys get as far along as they can. Likewise, the First Legion. Which isn't surprisingly close behind. I was actually, I wasn't expecting to be that close. Alright, so, second fleet. Here's how we do this. Seventh Legion goes there, second fleet goes there, seventh Legion attaches. And there we go. Now we can head up to sea. Okay! I don't think we need to worry much about anything else here. I mean, veteran. Try to assassinate him, maybe? We have a chance at assassinating. Not, not a great one. Manipulating? 50 50 chance of it working? Go ahead, we need the XP on you. Well, that worked out great. <laughs> Whatever. An agent, one veteran is not stopping two legions. We'll push forward. Head toward, uh. Uh, I'm not sure if we want to hit Trapezos or head south here and then hit Arsa Masada. Maybe cut through the forest. Your potions and charms had. I don't care. Even if the Sultan gets declared war on me, there's not much they can do. I guess the Nori haven't surrendered yet. Yep. 
who goes. Uh, they just lost a city. I'm not certain who, but they lost. more of the gladiator thing, and that's why we can't build it here yet. Well, that can wait then. Don't... Do not care. We're at plus 60 public order here. It does not matter. Spy lady! Man, I don't care. Alright, guys. You did your jobs. Oh, we did not replenish any more that turn. Running low on was no, I think it's more. Ah, the Bugos are gone. Let me guess, it is winter causing the problem, perhaps. Hard to say. We hunger for battle. Lack of manpower. Ah. No, Patrici. Is that it? I didn't think these guys would be Patrici. Whatever. Let's just push forward then. On the move. I definitely want to. Uh, I'm definitely thinking we head south here. March. And you can just escort this army. You can come by ahead. We'll hit Samasada here. And then move over to. Well, actually. One, two, three. One, two, eh. Maybe we should just go straight for our, our Samosada. Start taking the province. That might be the smart move. Alright. I think that's our plan. Meanwhile, I'm kind of looking to see just how much money we'll save up by the end of this. I'm curious. Docking. Talking? Yes, Doc. Alright. And spy lady. Um, manipulation. Anything else? No, 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 no. Alright. Let's move on then. These guys know where they're going. This map has consolidated pretty well. I do like that. There's mostly large powers left in the game here. Mostly. But two of the largest are... Or rather, yeah, two of the largest and are uh, client states of mine. Another of the medium ones that I see me as a client state. And I've got a few military allies. Most of the map effectively belongs to Rome. And I am content with that. If nope. you strike, the blow will be unexpected. I'm not going to war with Rhodes. I don't care. A noble death. Uh -huh. And a veteran. Alright, so we lost a noble here. Let's go with, uh. Sure, this guy. Set up the watch. Other than that, let's see, so we have some desertion in we the 10th Legion, the huh? Commander. Not sure how that's happening. No, we'll I think it's just we're low on supplies. Oh, 
as you so go. once we get here, hopefully Stop taking the settlement will be enough to get us some supplies. We hunger for battle. Ready this could get for ugly. Could get very ugly. Epirus and the SD. Where are they? Epirus is... Yep. These guys are the SD. Epirus conquered most of this. Jeez. They're just... It's, yeah, Epirus is huge. I love it. Uh, actually, yeah, that's the best way to land them. And they won't be that far behind. Very good. Meanwhile, blah, 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 we've got... Our other guys are on their way. Cool. I don't think we need to do much. Level up an admiral, it seems. Put your backs into it, you men. Um, rightful sovereign. I don't know. I don't care. And we did have a spy die, if I recall correctly. Not sure where, or what, maybe it was a veteran? Oh, let's see what kind of agent we can raise, or create. Uh, recruit. There we go, that'd be the word I was looking for. Oh, we can get two veterans. Why have I not given these guys veterans? That makes no sense. You are slipping, Pally. Slipping. Alright, two veterans recruited. Very good. Enter. Next, we attack the settlement of us, whatever it was, Arsa Masada, Asa Mar Asa. We'll see. Arsa. I'm just gonna call it that for short. I haven't bribed Epirus or uh, the Averni in a little while. Maybe I should do that soon. Sure, I'll give each like ten. 15, 20,000. Why not? I cannot give the Iceni money, though. I did that previously, and it pissed off the Averni. Iceni don't care if I give the Averni gifts. The Averni just care if I give the Iceni gifts. I don't know why. Yes, I expected that. Alright. Huh. They don't have guys in range for reinforcements. Well, this is just going to be a slaughter then. I'm okay with that. Good. Hmm. It's a cool map. Well, where do we want to start? God, if I make them come down through here. Siege weapons! Time to slaughter the enemy. Yep, that is going to be very ugly. I like it. Archers, we'll get some of you there. Some of you there. Crossbows. More crossbows. Archers! Move the archers out of the crossbows way. Alright. Now, let's get our. Legions. Oh, 
pretty much like that, but not quite. Um, <laughs> we want them out of the way for the moment. But ready to get into the fray as needed. That should mostly do it. Extra reinforcement for the center, though I don't want to use those guys if I don't have to. And we'll have the big one over here. Actually, we'll just have the big one right here, able to go wherever I need it to. Okay, so... right here so it's not in the way. Okay, now we are... this guy's a little hurting, so we'll have this unit of cavalry ready to come around this side, and the general can come from over here. Actually, I was thinking have the evil cohort over here earlier because we have a good amount of space here, and we'll have him... we'll have the eagle cohort backing up the general, and these two units of turret teams can go together. Okay! Let's slaughter the enemy, because that's what this is going to be. Scorpion! They're just gonna try and come down here and die. I have consulted oracles and witnessed omens, and through them I know that gods have given me brave men to lead into battle. Now, forwards! Victory awaits! Uh, the archers will have will open fire pretty much right there. Oh, God. This might not be as ideal as I hoped. There, the archers open fire. Hmm. I think I need to move these guys up a little bit. Quick march! You two. Fire as you can, I think. Eagle cohort! Eagle cohort, come around. Otherwise, yes, just keep the slaughter going. Archers! To their deaths. <laughs> There's not much they can do about the artillery. Watch the artillery. Eagle cohort. Legionary cohort. Javelins. Oh, that's guys getting hit in the sides and backs by a missile. One of our units has used all its ammunition. Get up there, guys. Do not skirmish. Go for it, men! Alright, fall back a tiny little bit. And well, I want this group of legionnaires coming up to the side there. One of our units has used all its ammunition. Cohorts. Yep, yep, I didn't want you guys skirmishing either. Okay, so far so good. General and Tarantines come around now. Scorpion! Scorpion, I left a little too exposed, but it's fine. You guys all cease fire you. Our general is under attack. General! Yeah, that was bad. Eagle cohort! General! Alright, Tarantines, go for it. Alright, now, General. 
Actually, let's have the general come around here and then hit them from the side. Enemies in the center have completely shattered. And we did have one cohort take some decent losses, but other than that, nice and easy victory here. Uh, you guys, ceasefire. General! And they're shattered. I'm not gonna waste time running them down. Our losses were 66 men. I'm thinking pretty much entirely from that one cohort. That went well. That went very well. Uh, this vulnerability to seed weaponry is kind of an issue for the AI, definitely. The problem is, I, I am not sure what else they should do. Uh, I, I tend to think I would do very similarly. If I'm getting pounded by siege weapons, I'm not going to just sit there and take the hits. Maybe. It might be that that's exactly what you should do. I mean, in this situation, maybe it was. They... Uh, tough call. Tough call no matter what. Alright, so, Civil Town. Uh, we'll go with no and Auxiliary Barracks. Meanwhile, no, we're not taxing this place. At your service. Second Legion. Come hit the bearers of truth. Actually, hold on. Let's see if she can sabotage them first and prevent them from going anywhere. Good luck! Hey! Good job! Caught them. Alright, Second Legion. Time for you to slaughter them. Yeah, this is not going to be a difficult battle for us. Or at least it damn well shouldn't be. If it is, I've screwed up horribly. Alright, start deployment. Yeah, we are on some interesting terrain here. Oh, well, I'm thinking the Scorpio like this. We'll have the rest of the army kind of in the open here, but I wanted the Scorpion right up there. I like that hill. We're gonna use it. Alright, so here's what we will do. Archers, nope, you don't get to move at all. You're gonna be all right here up on this hill. And of course the cohorts will be protecting the base of the hill. Kind of like that. Sons of Mars. You over there? <clears throat> yeah, I can talk. Legionary cohort. You uh, right there? Thinking, perhaps? Hold on. It's probably easier to just do it like that. Yeah, this should be fun. Legionaries. You guys right you there. And hmm, I'd want these guys firing downhill. Like they went from right here. Excellent. So we've got our little formation set up here. And Pikeman, I almost forgot about you. Um I don't know. Pikemen get to be the last ditch defense of the Scorpio. There we go. Scorpion. Here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna put the Scorpion a little more straight on with that Pikemen. rock formation, and the Pikes will be right there as well. I want it to be hard to flank them. Cool. Yeah, this should be a fun fight. 
Let's see how the terrain works for us here. Oh, general speech. What a shiny, polished, well-dressed collection of corpses. How noble in aspect. How splendid in attire. It will do them no good if you shove a good length of iron into their bellies. Two arms! Let's go with, uh, poison rounds. Flammable rounds. Poison rounds, why not? Mix it up a bit. Yeah, these guys are getting hammered. So yeah, especially when you have this much siege weaponry, like, should an army sit back and just let itself get hammered by it? I don't know. But making them able to, like, being certain that I can make them come to me like this isn't ideal either. You know, I just realized I didn't really do shoot a damn thing with my cavalry. Uh, where are theirs? Which side? Right here. Well, these guys are already on this flank, and I'll move the general to be up here. Meanwhile, let's watch the carnage. It really is a damn beautiful game. Poison rounds there don't seem to be all that effective, but it's hard to tell. They seem to have a bit more in the way of splash damage. I think that one like directly hit this guy and he lived. All right, we're gonna we're gonna switch away from the poison routes. I'm not at all convinced that they're useful. Go to flammable. Oh, we have two sets of cavalry. I did not notice this one. Oh, well, that's okay. And you, I'd like to be able to see what you're firing at. Looks like these guys. Yep, definitely. Anaga! Ballista! Another Ballista! And Scorpio! Uh, no, don't. You got trees in the way. We have discovered the not enemy's sure if hidden the Scorpio units. can hit the uh, riders here or not. Well, Scorpio may not be able to, but the Onagers can. Okay. One of our units has used all its ammunition. Ballista, wrong target. Switch to them. Okay, come on guys, kill these cavalry if you can. Nice try, cavalry. Eh, kinda worked for them. Still, they're getting slaughtered. They're not a match for legionaries in close combat. Alright. Yeah, this is going just exactly how I'd want it to. Ah! Except when I do something that stupid. Alright, target that general, dude. Oh! Hello. I left a gap here, it looks like. Or one was created. Either way, I don't like it.
so these archers are taking some losses. I don't want to send a general in. Alright, you guys. Move. General, come around. There we go. Let the cavalry kill their missile infantry. Ah, nope, you're gonna kill cavalry. Stop. Let's get you guys right there and then into Phalanx. Cohorts. Let's move you around a bit, guys. We need to not just sit here. One of our units has used all its ammunition. Alright, let's form a wedge. Quickly now! Ready. Bike men! Break the lines! Archers! Archers fall Break back. Bike men have you covered. Archers! Archers fall me. back here as well. Legionaries! General! General! Yes! Rally and inspire! General is under attack. Come on, guys. General. And where are you? Probably way farther away than you need to be now. Alright. Good. You guys are barely engaged. Flank them. Look at us. You already broken, uh, looks like one of them. They're very heavy melee infantry. And another broke. Scorpio ceasefire. I don't want you killing General. friendlies. Alright. Yeah, we lost some archers there. I screwed that up. I guess I didn't pull them back far enough. They were still in the fight. Uh, no, we're going to, in this case, ride down as many as we can. This army that can escape, after all. One of our units has used all its ammunition. Come on, kill as many as you can. You fire! I don't know. General! Limit to how many we can kill, though. Oh, probably killing my own general there. Archers, kill these guys. That uh, wrong group. Advance for glory. Forward. Archers, stop firing. You're just causing problems. Speed this up a bit. Yeah, I didn't handle this one the best. But still nice and easy victory for us. Get out of your damn wedge. Finish riding them down. That's what, 20 of this group left? What do we got down here? 28 or so? Alright, come back to them. And once this group's dead, I think we're just going to call it. <laughs> Click on somebody over here and they ride off in this direction. Gotta love it. Alright, that's close enough. Yeah. yeah, one group of archers took some losses, some minor losses throughout the Legionnaires. Overall, it went fine. Just that one group of archers took some extra losses. Because I left a gap. It was my fault. I failed the men. <laughs> Alright, so we didn't fully annihilate this army, but we came pretty close. Enslave! 
second legion that was up. Ha! Somehow they did too. Great. Second legion. Um. Garrison Exilia, all the way. Ready for order. Get the fortifications Fortify. ready. All right. Anything else we need to take care of this turn? You leveled up, but I don't care. Uh, right, we were going to bribe the Averni and Epirus, even though they're both still pretty happy with us. You. And better ale and mead. There's for the Averni, and the there's Epirus. So that you may speak well and... All right, Your essentially a turn towards income. to the gods and to my people. You have wisdom indeed. Yes, I know I do. Thank you. <laughs> Samosata just a few turns away. Sorry, Salu kids. Not really sorry, but it's what I'm doing. Alright, keep moving, First Legion. And ninth. Come on, game, don't don't hold up too long. Averni and Epirus and Iceni seem to just be dividing Europe between them. And I'm fine with that. And Epirus seems to definitely be winning that race, so I'm fine with that. Epirus has never felt like they were an issue. Epirus has always been a good, loyal vassal for us. There was a short period of time where we kind of had them pissed off, but... I've always been a lot more worried about the Averni trying to turn against us than Epirus. Garrison army. Uh, stop the adoption. So... I have no idea how I'm supposed to do anything about supplying a region that, like that. That, I'm not even gonna care. The Iceni and Gnosis finally declares on Rhodes. But yeah, the Iceni now are fighting the HD as well. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Alright. So, how are we looking? Ready for battle. Ready for orders. Not getting any new recruits here yet, naturally, but I wasn't really expecting to. We are going to have supply issues probably for a little while. But, we hunger for battle. do what we can. I Tempt him into joining us. Uh, at least we hindered him. Meanwhile, veterans, get over here. As you command, and let's uh, recruit our own governor to help keep things okay. Boom! Governor! Alright! So, since we're not replenishing. I think we'll give it another turn, and then we'll push at, uh, probably Tushpa here. I tend to think we could take it with a single legion, and then with the, uh, tenth legion on their own, as long as they get a moment to recover here first. And then the second legion could probably take Koran. And then it's just over to Armavir, and, uh, we've won. Is there anything else we needed for the military victory? Uh, we need one more naval unit. Okay. Let's take care of that quickly, then. There we go. Let's do two, just for the fun of it. And, and... Oop. Forgot people leveled up. Very good. You... Can... I don't care. Uh, 
And... Veteran... There we go. Alright. Stuff I didn't really care too much about. We're done with. Let's end the turn and keep the game moving. These guys are on their way. Not even sure if they'll get there in time to help out, but... Why not send them? Lay down the sword. It is not. Yep. Well, if you're not going to surrender, that's what would uh, also satisfy the victory conditions. So you've either got to be conquered or become a client state, which is pretty much being conquered. Nice try, Cartley. Nice try. So. Yes, I know, I don't care. Alright, keep moving, men. Best you can. Alright, we got some replenishment. Excellent. Well, so we have a general and a spy in Tushpa. And a couple of minor guys in Koran. Alright, well, you know what? I think we'll hit Tushba. First off, let's see if we can manipulate you. Coercion. Yeah. Success at, le at least. General, do your thing. So the question is, uh, how do we want to lead this? Pretty much our normal way. Onagers, Ballista. Start knocking walls down at Tushba. Yeah. Let them cower before Rome. Yeah, I think we can take this garrison just with this one force. Hell, we could just... God, three turns is all we'd need to siege them down. Tortoise. I haven't had to use one of these in quite some time. Yeah, mostly just because Roman legions can handle the walls. Let's just attack. We can do it. The Forgotten Warriors help defend the at Tushba. 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 I'm going with Tushba. It's probably Tushba. Well, looking at this map, I'm thinking we'll want to attack from this gate. Ah, perfect. Start deployment. Ah, that's a good looking city. Yeah, we'll attack this gate. Is what I'm thinking. The towers go here. And we'll then knock holes in the wall here, I think. Well, actually, maybe knock the hole in the wall. Ooh, there's a way down. That's something we care about. Alright, so, looking at them from this side, they can bring men up on the wall here or here. I don't want them being able to do both. So we'll try and knock the hole in the wall right around here. Maybe. I don't know, that might not be a smart way to do this. Maybe we have the towers come in right here, along this side. Meanwhile, we bust the hole in the wall here. 
Yeah, that's what I'm thinking, actually. We'll change up the plan a little bit. There we go. Towers. Right. Oh, nope, both of you, both of you. Alright. They can go right there. I'm thinking we'll actually have, uh... Scorpios up here as well. Might give them a decent enough angle to actually hurt somebody on the walls, for instance. Let's space these out a little better. Give them better angles. Alright, yeah, then we can... We'll want to hit right there pretty, pretty much. Knock our way in here. Archers! I don't know that the crossbows will be all that useful. At least not yet. Not at the beginning, but we'll see. Cohort. Cohorts. Probably need to have somebody reinforce these guys and the people to go up the walls, so... We'll let these two be the reinforcements for uh, the ladders, and these three will be the main force to go through the breach. And that, I think, is all we need. I'm pretty sure we'll be able to handle it otherwise. Ceasefire. There is no wall in the world that can keep us out. No man whose bravery matches ours. No swords sharper. No spears keener. No gods as unforgiving as ours. So, we will conquer here. I will kill anyone who shows fear and mercy with more yeah. about them than you. I love the chatter. I'll kill any man who shows fear or mercy. Ballista. All right, let's knock some walls down, shall we? Start. Oh, right here. Good luck. How do you miss these walls? It's like kind of crazy, but that's. It. And I don't see any reason to wait on you. Attack! You right there. Can I get them both on the edge of the wall here? Probably not. Ah, there we go. Yes, we can. Excellent. Meanwhile, we'll move these guys forward to back them up. <coughs> Archers, I want you to move forward a bit. In this one, we can't take out their arrow towers, so we're going to do our best to take on the archers themselves. We're right up here, it looks like. Come on, guys. Slaughter their archers. You can do this. Yes. the blood splattering as they take loss after loss. Excellent. Crossbows. See if you can get close enough to hurt those dudes. Why not? The wall's taking a fair bit of damage already. The ladders have made it to the walls. Very good. are retreating. Very good. Come on. Alright, that group is broken. Excellent. Now, the question becomes... Ooh, wall over here is taking some damage. Oh, there we go. They don't have uh, the 
protection essentially anymore, so that's cool. Okay, so our men are up here. The ladders are solid. Excellent. You guys move forward, get ready to back them up. Archers! Can you hit here is the question. I don't know if they'll be able to or not. That wall is just about to go down. And... There it goes! That's a bunch of dead soldiers. Now. start all over. Damn. No! Give me a wider breach. I want to be able to send men through. Backing each other up. Alright, let's get up here, man. Hey, they can hit back here. Not ideally, but they kind of can, it looks like. Yeah, we're getting kills. Alright. Well, let's see if we're able to cause another breach here. I want to try and destroy this, uh... I don't know, stairwell? I'm guessing. Ha! This isn't even firing. It's out of range. That's... Unfortunate. Oh well. Oh no, it's just it doesn't have fire at will. It's probably out of range now though, so... Not going to start that yet. Come on guys, you got this. These archers are breaking. Very good. Crossbows are doing their job. These archers are getting killed by our archers. Jeez, these guys are just having no problems here on the wall. One of our units is Oh, that was a nice volley. Avocati can handle the spearmen. I need you over here. Come on. What are you doing? Oh, you don't have everyone up here yet. That's what the issue is, I bet. Alright. Archer, ceasefire. You get over here, the cohorts. Oh, you guys are uh, getting hit in the sides. Uh, and you guys can cease fire. Crossbows, get down here. Yeah, this cohort took some losses before I noticed that they were even under attack. They're still trying to come up here, then we will actually destroy this part of the wall. One of our units has used all its ammunition. Alright, come on, gate. Get ready to bring cavalry in through it. These guys are taking a lot on here, but they're doing a good job of it. Crossbows are just slaughtering those guys on the top of the wall. Onager, or may, uh, or rather the ballista may still be able to break the stairwell. But it looks like the bad guys are all coming down here. Hold on, stop. One of our units has used all its ammunition. Come on. 
just uh, finish bringing this down. You can do it. One more volley, and it's yours. Evocati, you've lost all of three men. Keep killing those spearmen. Used all its ammunition. You guys, just come over here. Wall destroyed. Crossbowmen. One of our units has used all its ammunition. Fire at will. Oh yeah. I like that. It's not ideal, I guess. Crossbows aren't really designed to shoot that way, but if it works, it works. Alright, cavalry inside. You can come around, flank out, oh, flank those spearmen. Alright, this cohort's done enough of the Oh, no, 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 guys, 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 wrong way, wrong way. I love how slow the bolts move when they're fired like this. It's like they're just... just it's like they, they have, I don't know, air brakes of some sort attached to them. Alright, you guys, stay where you are. You took some losses there, and I don't want you taking any more. Alright, crossbows. And these two groups of archers still have a decent amount of ammo. Double time. Let's get them into the game. Uh, missile armed riders fall back. Alright. Guys, we, we took the gates here. You could have come down here. <coughs> Well, cohorts spread out a bit here, and then I want you to take these militia. Double time! Talentine cavalry! Yes, riders! At the double! And there's more cavalry. So we still have some uh, men in this central square here. Oh, these Tarantines are getting poked at by this tower, and I don't like that. Come on, men. Javelins! Yeah, you took some of them out. One of our units has used all its ammunition. Attack! Tarantine cavalry! Rebriders! At the Tarantine! Alright. Eagle Cohort, can you come down now by using these stairs? That is the question. Alright, Tarantines. Quickly, quickly, quickly. Get these guys in the backs. Yes! That killed a good 10-20% of the formation at least. Alright, now just engage. We have more enemies coming, and I don't want you getting sandwiched in there. Alright, looks like we've taken that group out. Riders, you're being silly. Turn off skirmish mode, how about that? Okay. <laughs> I haven't lost a single man out of this legion while fighting this militia group yet. Tarantines. Let's move forward here. Evocati. Let's see if we can get down here. 
want this tower not being a problem anymore. And you men still have javelins, so throw them, please. There we go. Alright, that force is shattered. Job done. Alright, that group is shattered. Excellent. Legionary cohort. Legionary cohorts. Tempted to try and send them up and around here. Maybe I'll do that with uh, the cavalry. Okay, more infantry. We need them up front. Give me a volley into these guys. That should take them out. Probably kill some of our own men in the process. Oh, not really. Okay, cool. Alright, missile infantry. Let's get you in range where you can do some damage on the enemy. Archers! Meanwhile. Yes, Commander! So here's the plan. We will start capturing this tower. Oh yeah, completely forgot about this one. Alright, well, so they have heavy melee cavalry, heavy melee cavalry, lots of heavy cavalry here, but... I wish I had spearmen. <laughs> Still, once this tower is ours, we'll bring the Evocati down, and they at least still have their, uh, Pilas. And we can use them, then. <laughs> Just have these two cohorts sitting outside the city. <laughs> outside the gates. <laughs> Imagine being a soldier in one of those cohorts. You see all your guys moving, and you're just sitting there, like, Yep. We got, we're, uh, we're doing nothing here today, sir. Yes, yeah, sir. <laughs> uh, gotta love it. Alright, so we are taking them here. Advance at speed. This tower is almost taken. And I'm just gonna let these guys all fire at will. We'll see what they do. I'm a little worried about that heavy cavalry, but not that worried. Come on, man, get in there. Stop them as best you can. Tarantines, get around to the side. Javelins. Oh, yeah. Javelin slaughter cavalry. One of our units has used all its ammunition. Oh, one of them already. Advance! Yeah, I think one of them already shattered. Yep. This one is losing. Okay. Well, this isn't going to take very long at all, is it? One of our units has used all its ammunition. Go back. Go forward. Just keep going, guys. One of our units has used all its ammunition. More cavalry. Alright, let's advance. Cavalry. I mean, they're probably pretty decent combatants and all, but they're still just kind of stuck in here. Come on, guys. Move your collective SI. Yeah, 
You right there. You still One of our have units has used all its ammunition. Stop. Let this group get ahead of you. has used all its ammunition. Alright, crossbows are out of ammo. Charge them, men. Legionary cohort! Alright, these guys are turning about. That's exactly what I wanted. Cavalry! Get up here, then we can hit them in the back. Good. Caught them sort of in the side. With a decent charge. One of our units has used all its ammunition. Probably foolishly. Uh, I forgot to turn it off. Oh well. Let's see if we can break these guys. Cavalry coming down the stairs. Ought to do it. Now push on and hit this group. Hit this one guy. I can do it! <laughs> and this dude just rides in. Yeah! And we have victory in Thepsa. Excellent. On to Koran with the Second Legion. Yeah! All right, occupy. Ready for battle. And then we are almost there. <laughs> we take this settlement for Rome. Oh, yep, another slaughter. This shall be. <laughs> they are sallying. Okay. Well, at least it won't be nearly as bad as when they were fighting in the town. Start deployment. Hmm. No cavalry, it looks like. Alright, well that gives us a definite advantage. It's an interesting slant to this battlefield. So, I'm thinking what we shall do here is pretty much our, for the most part, our usual tactics. Missile infantry. Hmm, I like these guys spread out as they are. Give a little space between my forces. At least with some of them, not all of them. For instance, these two actually should be, I think, my pikes. have a reserve here because we don't have that many men for one. Alright, uh, P3, we'll do third over here as well. Alright, and Tuscanani, right behind. And on the flanks of the bit. Meanwhile, Shock Cavalry and the General. Chill here. Listen, Onagers. Let's give them a bit of a variety in the angle they're shooting from. Meanwhile, Scorpios. Just not sure where to put them. Like, I put them here, they'll be shooting into the backs of my guys. 
here, and they're just going to be vulnerable to being hit themselves. I wonder if I put them back a bit here. Clear line of sight to the enemy. But they don't really have the melee guys off to the side here to attack with. And we can always have our cavalry help counter a charge by hiding in the trees! Alright! I think that's uh, something resembling a plan. <clears throat> And, as usual, skirmish mode off of you. Everybody fire flammable. I want to see the shots. I do not lose battles. It is not my way, nor is it your way. We win, we conquer, we prevail. As our people have always done in war. Let the enemy think of defeat. Yeah. Shh. Just like this. Is... So many pikes. I love it. And it begins. Probably do less damage that way. At least in terms of armor piercing and the like. Yep, you keep shooting at that militia. Now, the movement. We've been waiting to pull. Move infantry forward. I think I might have done that a little too late. Oh well. Our hidden units have been discovered. As long as they still get their volley off, we'll be okay. You know, you change target. You change target. You change target. One of our units has used all its ammunition. Very good. This is going to... Uh, Pikes! Phalanx! And there we go. Got it just in time. I almost forgot to. Okay. Sailing cavalry, back off. Uh... Tuscany, I need you to help with those guys. Infantry! Legionary cohorts! infantry at your command! That's okay. And once again, I was worried about them from the start. I knew it was a bad placement for them. Missile infantry at your command! Well, those militia are getting slaughtered anyways. Tessignani, move a little. You can dodge javelins on the sides of these dudes. Okay. Archers. Archers. Okay. So far, so good. These guys have already been shattered. One of our units has used all its ammunition. Get back on the scorpion, man. Uh, let's bring you over here. Cavalry, take them on. Okay, General. Pikes, we can advance a little bit, maybe. No, no. That'd One of our units idea. has used all its ammunition. Alright, cohort. Ballista and Ballista help take out those archers. 
Scorpio, you too, why not? You should be able to handle it. This group of militias getting surrounded, very good. Tessic Nani can fight to a degree, so they can get in there. Cavalry, go slaughter those guys. Enemy general is surrounded. Ah! Who's shooting at them? That was bad. Okay, move those legionnaires. Enemy here is going to be slaughtered soon enough. Stone thrower! Actually, no, keep throwing stones. Why not? Alright. Shattered that group. One of our units has used all its ammunition. General, move forward. Oh. Never mind. There we go. Battle won. Let's end it there. Nice and easy victory. I do wish that we'd be ending on like a giant battle. But. I mean, we are a turn or two, a couple of turns at best away from having won this campaign, so... I, I don't want to belabor it or stretch it out any farther than it has already gone. <laughs> Alright, occupy! Goron, very good. Hey, trench mine. Hmm. It's plus 2% land unit recruitment. Interesting. Well, uh, this is giving me some public order issues, but meh. And Garrison Municipum. Okay! And then next turn, we, I think, won't we'll be able to march on. Up oh, two more turns to get to Armavir. Okay. From either direction. That's funny. Okay, well, uh... You need to level up. Not sure what I want to bother with. Bit of diplomatic bonus, why not? Make sure somehow we don't lose the Averni or somebody right at the end. But, I think that's uh, pretty good. Faction destroyed, the Nori are gone. Parthians we have finally met. Really? Where are they? Ah. In... Right over here. Okay, fair enough. Well, hi Parthians! Nice to meet you right at the end of the game. They dare to block me! <laughs> It's a friendly that's blocking you. It's not intentional. Getting there. Just need everybody's stuff to finish moving. Gnosis is uh, sailing somewhere. In force. I'm very concerned. All these agents. And no. Armored siege units, attrition in, uh, strange, Gallia. Ah, must have been a harsh winter, that would make sense. Alright, meanwhile, let's get ready to attack. Yep, we really are just a turn away from winning here. 
From whichever side. <laughs> oh, this will be fun. We'll at least give a, a uh, fairly large battle by having both of our armies in at the end here, but... And we finished Siege Weapons Tier 2. I don't have anyone I have to promote, do I? Nope. Well, I'm not going to waste time moving guys that won't have anything to do with the end anyways. Let's just end this turn, and then we will... None will escape. Oh! I completely forgot about the 7th Legion heading down to attack... ...right here. I'm not sure I care. To be perfectly honest, uh, yeah, it'd be another battle, but it's not going to be a terribly interesting one. Yeah. In circle. <laughs> I, I, I just don't want to bother with it. I'm sorry. <laughs> I, I, I want to win this campaign and be done with it. It's been a long and fun one, but it, it, it has reached the time for it to end. Assuming nothing crazy happens throughout the end of this turn here, we've won. And I'm looking forward to celebrating my victory. Just waiting for the last ones to go. Lots of little movements that we don't care about. Alright. Food shortage. Oops. Oh well. At your command. I say we just do this. We hunger for battle. Second Legion, or 10th Legion. We'll have the 10th Legion lead, I think. I'll just... No, no, oh, I'm bringing both Legions in. We're gonna do this together. Oh, that's hilarious. One turn of sieging, we would win. That's hilarious. Alright, so, let's bring in our armies. And crush the bearers of the truth. Securing victory for Rome. The Battle of Armavir, 212 BC. Start deployment. Reinforcements are coming from over here. That's kind of the most worthless place for them now that I look at this map. But, oh well. Ah, we have a nice hill behind us. Let's set up on that a bit, shall we? Let them come to us, because they will, and we know that. Alright, you guys in front. Let's see. You... You... Give a little spacing to my men. And we'll put you on the side, you guys are hurt. Eh, whatever. That'll do. I really don't think this will be a problem for us. Tarantines will have on this side, and the general can 
be over here. Okay. Let's hear the general. Actually, no. Let's put him on the hill. We want to see our army. Soldiers of Rome, hear my orders. Our reinforcements have arrived. Without duty, you are lost. With it, you cannot be beaten. This is all that I need to say. Now, prepare your weapons. <laughs> prepare your weapons, men! They come. Now, we're not gonna get siege weapons from this army into play, I think. But, we can try and get the men into play. Come on. ASAP, dudes. All of you, flames. Ready for orders. Understood. Come on, flames. Yeah, they're not enjoying this. Uh, I could move forward a little bit and just plug, like, right here with lots of fire, but I'm not gonna do that. Not for our last fight. Instead, the, I mean, they're, it's sort of being plugged anyways. I wasn't quite sure if we'd be in range when I set up on the mountain, but... FLAMES! Oh, right in that densely packed troop mass. Alright, let's have you target there. You target there. Uh, no, you target there. I want those cavalry. Okay, shattered, never mind. Then target there. Troops. And those guys get slaughtered by One our, of our units. Uh, used all its ammunition. Okay. Well, the cavalry made it here at least. One of our units has used all its ammunition. Oh, come on, really? Focus on those archers then. And one of our Scorpio, units has used all the you focus on those archers. Maybe. Nah. So they're trying to come in, hit us in the side a little bit, but that leaves them vulnerable to the archers behind. You can fire right to that gap. Oh yeah. Like I said, I was kind of, I would have liked to have a better battle to end the war, end the campaign on, but this kind of reflects a good chunk of the campaign, just the might of Rome overpowering everything here. Like throughout this entire campaign, for the most part, once we got a decent army together, nothing could stand against it. Uh, Spears pull off. And you guys cease fire, fire at will, cease fire, fire at will. I don't I just don't want them trying to move to chase. As they will sometimes do. These groups are shattered. These guys are broken as well. Alright! We've done it! By gum, we've done it, I think! 
That should uh, be a military victory for Rome. Let's just make sure I don't want to be wrong about this. If I am, it would be kind of funny, actually. Ayastan conquered. Occupy. Alright, so I believe we've got it all. Yes, indeed. We are a little shy on food, apparently. Where's a province that's got crap food? Ah, Raiti at Norcom. Let's stop taxing you. There we go. Nice and simple. Sulpina, same with you. Boom. Done. Taken care of. So, uh, did we get a, so now, oh, so this region is called Hike. Interesting. Well, let's see what happens, uh, as we end the turn here. My guess is that's when it declares a victory for us, that, uh, we managed to end the turn with control of it. Oh, people's skill points to distribute. Blah, well, just in case. I think everyone deserves their promotions for their work and all that jazz. And end the turn! And Let's see... What we get. Aside from a stalled game. <laughs> Everyone's still moving around. So maybe start of the next turn we get the victory notification. It's like a last chance for everyone else to stop it. But no one's going to, of course. We demand uh, a modest weight of points. You still are in no position to demand anything. I've just walked through you. With no trouble at all, so... Let's see what happens at the end. Are you willing? No. Not willing. No. You guys keep asking. Ha ha! Victor! Given the achievements I just got on Steam, this is actually my first time of fully completing a campaign in this, and that wouldn't surprise me at all. Yeah, that looks pretty much how we fought. <laughs> we have fought in, definitely. Greece, yeah. We didn't do much fighting in Greece, actually. We largely left Epirus to handle all of that. And they did a pretty good job of it. <laughs> we didn't really fight Greeks very much. Uh, we fought some Greek-inspired, essentially, in Egypt, in Spain, that kind of thing, but... Ah! Victory! Campaign 1. So, current turn 267, current date 212 BC, specifically autumn of 212 BC. We've captured 71 settlements, lost 8. Uh, I'm looking for 
Combat. Diplomacy. Factions encountered 61. Factions destroyed 13. Nine client states. Nine current wars. The most wars was nine. Current allies, seven. Most allies, seven. Current trade, most trade. Economy. Total income. 10, 230, 236. So we made 10.5 million throughout the course of this campaign. A huge chunk of it in like the last couple of dozen turns. Highest ever income, 118, 154. Nice. So, I'm looking for mostly generals lost, 11, and land unit, uh, units destroyed, 2,315. We lost 140. Conflicts, total battles fought, 180. Battles fought personally, 167. That's a pretty damn high ratio, I think. Land battles, 50. Yeah, some of these aren't being counted right, I'm betting. Combined, ambush, port, ah, settlement battles, there we go, yep. Siege battles, huh. Total victories, 170. Total defeats, 10. Yeah, I am thinking, uh, alright, so like I was saying earlier, the next camp Total War campaign I'm going to start will be a Total War Warhammer campaign, and that'll be a uh, pretty heavily modded campaign as well, with mostly fought with the Steel Faith Overhaul, uh, and a hand and some smaller mods that are going to be compatible with that. Uh, I haven't decided fully exactly what difficulty I want to play on, but I do, I'm thinking we're probably going to go very hard, maybe even Legendary. I don't really want to do Legendary, as Steel Faith is really not balanced around that. It's balanced around playing on hard. But... I think we'll go very hard for that campaign, just be, to see if we can get a bit more of a, uh, a bit more pushback than we got in this one. So yeah, we had very few losses, we didn't really get outmaneuvered very much by the enemy. I like to think that the, that the few losses is largely because I played right and made sure we didn't get too overwhelmed by our enemies anywhere, but... I was able to do that pretty consistently throughout the entire campaign, and I would like some losses in our next one. I'd like to have to deal with setbacks a little bit more in our next campaign, so we'll be um, ramping up the difficulty. But, for now, I'm just going to uh, celebrate this. This was a lot of fun. I had a great time with this campaign, and I really uh, appreciate everyone who's watched it, so... I hope you've enjoyed it as well. I hope to see you back for my Warhammer campaign or any of my other campaigns, the and the Space 2 one for instance. But if not, I hope you either way, I hope you enjoyed watching. And for now, this is Pally signing off. <laughs>